Hello everyone, this is going to be my mixed media morsel number six and this one is about inches. I never heard of inches before so I watched Cat Hand's video and then it made a lot more sense. Um, what she did was use her waste paper really, the pieces of paper she uses to pick up some leftover paints and such and she cut them in two by two inches and made a little artwork of them and then later on cut them in one inch pieces and add some stickers and uh, uh, stamping and all kinds of things to make them pretty. So I had to think about this a bit because I'm usually working on beer coasters and they are a round shape for my morsels, so I thought for a minute to do them um, in a circle shape, but I already made a morsel which had circles on it, so, and I know uh, that the mixed media morsel number seven is also with circles, so I didn't want to do that. So I came up with the idea to use a very thin cardboard. I I did had some uh, waste paper but I thought that the cardboard would be fun to use and that was a very thin cardboard uh, I had a few pieces of so um, I couldn't use it as a whole for my background because uh, I had to cut some inches out of two pieces of the thin cardboard and then I stripped down a, a thin layer of it, so the, the little lines that are inside of the cardboard. I learned that it's called a corrugated. Well, that, that, that was visible. So I uh, cut down six little pieces, inches of that cardboard and to make it uh, easier on myself, I took some masking tape and uh, taped them together so it would be easier for me to do the background of these inches. So what I did first was making a background on my coaster and I just glued down some pieces of paper, some book text and some craft paper and some um, textured paper and then I added a thin layer of gesso and then uh, did a bit of stamping on the coaster. So that's uh, my background at that moment because it's going to change in a bit. And now I am working on the inches. So um, adding gesso to them gives a very nice effect with all the corrugated lines on it. So then I used uh, a script stamp um, that has no brand name or anything on it but it's full with script and text and I use that to stamp on my inches and then in a minute I am um, using some uh, canvas oh wait here I am showing you that I bought myself a crop a dial and I'm keeping the morsels, <coughs> sorry, on um, a big ring. So this is the canvas and I am using my tool to uh, distress the, and grunge up the edges a bit and the little pieces of cardboard uh, of uh, canvas I will glue down to the inches. I kept it quite simple because, um, yeah, you work on a very small surface and yeah, I found it difficult to think about what to add. So I kept it simple and these uh, bits of canvas are glued down now with the golden gel medium. And later on, when I'm finished, I can remove the masking tape and I will have six little squares of an inch. 
So now I am going to stamp some more and I used a white uh, ink at first and I, I hoped that that would show uh, on the canvas but that didn't work all that well so eventually I use a distress ink and turquoise I believe and that showed a bit more but it was a bit disappointing that the stamps didn't go as well on the canvas as I wanted to so for those of you who aren't familiar with the mixed media morsels uh, this is a series of videos um, by Cat Hand and um, basically they are little artworks or um, little techniques, mixed media art techniques you learn and you make them on a small surface and uh, a lot of people use a little book or a little a piece of uh, watercolor paper and uh, I am using my beer coasters. There is also a Facebook group which you can join. So if you like to play along with the mixed media morsels, I will leave you some links in the description box to Cat Hand's uh, channel where she shows you uh, about these morsels and also to the Facebook group. They uh, have done morsel number 32 already at this moment, but you can just uh, join in and start with number one or do them uh, random in, in a random order, uh, whatever you like. Um, now I am gluing down some, I don't know how you call these, are these they 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 are stickers really but kind of epoxies kind of things and I glued down three of them and on the other three inches I used my little needle bottle with the white acrylic paint to make an M on each inchy for mixed media morsel so now I am basically done with the inches, so I'm removing the masking tape and I'm going to try and lay them out on the beer coaster. And here I realized that the background is a bit busy, so I am going to give it a wash with an acrylic paint. And I made some fluid acrylic paints uh, myself. And as I tried earlier to write with a needle bottle, I found out uh, that this bottle actually write much better. So maybe I should make more of those. So I give it a little wash with a light aqua color and then I lay out my inches and gluing them down with the golden gel medium and I just glued them down in a in a random kind of way and um, there is going to be uh, a hole in the coaster because I am saving them in, on a ring so I have a little gap there where, it's no, where there is no inchy so that is the perfect place for the hole for later on. Now what I did do and I didn't film that because I watched Cat Hand's video again and she I saw her outlining her uh, little inches with the black uh, artist pit pen so I decided to do this that as well but you will see that on the photos at the end of this video that I've outlined the little inches with the black uh, Faber Castell or the spit pen. So as these are also my inspiration prompt cards, I'm going to glue down a patent paper on the back side and uh, with the diamond dymo sorry letter letter tag I uh, print out a prompt which is about these inches and I'm 
adding that on the back side. I'm also outlining the prompt and at the end I will paint the edges of the coaster with a black acrylic paint. So yesterday I reached my 150 subscribers. Unbelievable. And that the, the last 50 is in about a week or so. I'm very, very happy. So thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel and for all your really nice comments. And um, hopefully a few more will come in the weeks uh, to come. So um, yeah, this is it for my mixed media morsel number six about inches. I hope you've enjoyed watching the process start to finish of this morsel. And uh, please subscribe, please give it a thumbs up uh, because that really helps. And I see you again next time. Bye bye.